good morning guys welcome to today's video today you're up and at it super early i told you guys in yesterday's video that my girls have time management issues and i decided last night they're getting up between 7 and 7 30 every morning no yeah how did well, how do you how are you finding getting up with the puppy good but she wakes me up and you don't she bites me but how come i still have to come in and say get up because I won't give up. <laughs> Gabby's like, go back to sleep. running around like a maniac yeah she's getting so much better so um i told you we, t we told you guys that molly wasn't eating so we got her on a saturday today is tuesday saturday so it took her two full days before she started eating she started eating on the second day i think actually saturday third third day yeah she started eating so now she's eating super duper super duper good she is devouring her food at set time. She's doing so much better. I always say with a puppy, you have to do everything you want them to do as an adult. You have to do it when they're young so that they're socialized and used to it. Can't wait to take her swimming. It is 40 degrees Fahrenheit or five, whoa, five degrees Celsius. Uh, excuse me, was I not fast enough for you? I was rude. Today is going to be all about finding out what is wrong with Storm. So uh, last night, Gabby tried to ride Storm. I went up to the house to cook supper. And if you guys watch the video, then you'll know that Storm was lame in the right, on the right rein. Right front foot. Right front foot. All right, let's get food here. I actually saw Hendrix come down this morning, walking down the driveway to eat his okay, breakfast. He comes in the morning and then leaves before we get here. Such an ungrateful guest. Oh, he was sitting there for a while. Was he? Anyway, well, good morning. Welcome to today. I cannot wait to see what happens today. What today brings every single morning. I wake up and I think, holy heck, what am I going to video about? I never have any idea. And then we just go out there and start our day. And get moving and doing stuff. And lo and behold, a video is created. It's the same with you guys, too. Hey, Gracie girl, my pretty pony. She's my pretty pony. It's the same for everyone. Go out there and make your story, make your journey, make your day, your month, your week, your week, your month, your year. Go out there and just start living. Live and your journey will unfold. You just sit in the house, even though you're locked in, go out there and explore and find where you're meant to be. I'm actually surprised that the kids haven't come to check to see if I've done it right. Sam is home today, but he is super tired and slept in. He slept in he today. Bring my puppy out night. He does not bring your puppy out at night. Okay, then she is bedtime trained. Yeah, she's so good. She's been sleeping with Gabby at night, stays asleep all night till like 7 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock. Oh, she wakes me up at 8. Well, you woke up at 10 after 7 this morning and she was waking you up. Clearly it is hay day today. We are running out of hay again. I'm hoping to take Molly in to get her shots today. I'm just waiting for the vet to call me back. I messaged them yesterday and they said that when they're in the office, they'll let me know availability. So hopefully we can get in today. That would be super fun. I'd love to see like how much she weighs and have her vet check. Like she'll get her heart check. If you saw yesterday's video, then you might have seen such a cute boy, Finn. So happy to meet Molly. When I was editing the video, he was had his ears pinned back when we came up to him, and then he put his, his ears. ears always go back. I know he put his ears straight forward as soon as he saw her. He was like, "Aw, baby." Now I'm back to my food. Aw. He's just looking in the metal. Yeah, it's like he cleans his tongue after he eats. It's finished. It's finished. 
Our horses clean their bucket. They lick them clean. Abby noticed that Storm was lame yesterday and she felt to see if there was any heat from anywhere. Did you feel everything? There was no heat. His mane's just black and then his body's just like turning brown. Here, let me see. There was no heat anywhere and so feel down more. Yeah, I know. She said to feel everywhere. Um we're going to take a video today, a longer video. She's going to lunge him and we're going to send her a video. Is that a cut on him? No. Oh no, that remember when he literally missed stitches? That's the scar from it. That's the scar from when he No. Right here? Yeah. You, you can hardly it. see it. You could feel it. We yeah, do you guys remember when Storm hair. cut his leg right open? Yeah. Look look. At the hair and show yeah, it. it looks so good though. Oh my gosh, the amount of stress we got from people when he cut himself, and now that's all that there is left. Like a year later. All right, so he feels okay. The thing is, is that he got, um, he had the farrier come, and he had his shoes reset and his feet here? trimmed. Are you ready to see the pastern? It's right here. All right, lift up his foot hoof, and let's take a look at that pad. <laughs> I'm just trying to get all the information that I can for Fiona. Hey! See, for right there's Fiona. the pastern. Yeah. It could be this part. Yeah, and that could be it. Do you guys see? So he's got these. But it doesn't bother him right here. Yeah, and I feel like. I mean, I feel like that it must have always been there. Mm hmm. And so that one's just up a bit more, but he doesn't like pressure right here, but on this side. Oh, so this one's back a bit more, like the yeah. other one's up further. No, like this, this one's up more. Oh, the other one's back more. Oh, I see. So yeah, I think it's come here. that's probably it. I think it's right here. So one thing is true. Gabby has an innate he sense. Like pressure when I touch it right here like yeah. when I push it down that will suck if the fairy has to come all the way back just to reset it a tiny bit horses are always a mystery we we'll have to figure it out though it's actually cold like, it's supposed to get warmer later it's supposed to be whoops it's supposed to be cloudy which means that it'll be it'll be cool but yeah like I even have my mitts on that's how cold it is oh I don't my nose is cold we have now a little bit of running around this morning we are now at Walmart we actually had to take my son Nick he doesn't drive and he needs food, so unfortunately we had to take him so that he could get food, but I wanna show you guys something. Can you tell which one is Nick? So we're still in the stages where we line up to go in stores. Nick is six foot four. Can you tell the difference between him and all the average size people? <laughs> He's so tall. You never realize how tall he is until you see him in a big, huge lineup. Look at Gabby. She's got her purse and her puppy. Sometimes we get so immersed in our little farm that it's hard for me to remember that we're regular people with a purse and a puppy. Finny, you were such a bad boy last night. What the heck? Hey, don't fool around in front of me. Back it up. Pino, do not follow me. Do not follow me. Hey, get. Get. Go eat that. Come on, Finny. Good boy. Come on, Finny Finn. Why do I think it's a bad thing that we're teaching Chino to eat the stuff in the bottom of the bucket? There you go. There's your stuff. He just loves it so much. Hello, Chino Bambino. Hello, handsome. Hello, Finny Fin Fin. Hello. Chino, stop doing that. See, it's like every time I go near a horse, he gets jealous. He pushes them off. You can tell Storm's not happy because he hasn't been running off the horses. We're gonna figure out what's wrong with him. We're gonna figure out what's wrong with you, Stormy boy. Don't let her eat horse poop. That's how she gets worms. I ate horse poop. Don't eat horse poop. Wipe her face. You wipe She's her face. She's got horse poop on her face. You wipe her face.
Alright, so Sam is going to get hay, or Sam is going to get hay. And every once in a while, I like to clean up all this junk and give it to the horses and make room for more junk to come because that's what happens. to get all this stuff we got this from a guy who was getting rid of it selling it it is basically his old dog coop that he had um made for that was a big huge dog kennel and we're going to use this and modify it to make a better coop for our chicken i just don't know if this is too wide for them it's kind of fencing but we are going to do that we're going to make this bigger for our uh chickens there's a lot of it, so we might end up making um, a part of our garden out of it, or maybe doing something better for our dogs with it. Walking on air. puppy honestly I feel like she's gonna be our most well-adjusted puppy someone asked me in the comments this morning if Ruby still has separation anxiety do you guys remember when we first got her <gasps> she had the worst separation anxiety from obviously being rehomed and it was so bad like terrible and I'm happy to say I don't think that she has any separation anxiety anymore she's fabulous she's great she's good when we're here she's good when we're not here she doesn't have any of those kind of behaviors anymore so that's great being able to keep molly with us though and have her until like she, we just took her in the car for two hours and she was a rock star was she a rock star yeah she was fun. yeah like we've only had her for four days and for the first time we took her in the car she was molly. just terrible and already four days later she's a pro I wanna Don't bite. All right, we've had our break and we're going down to the barn, but look at what happens when we get ready to go. Ruby goes right to the door and so does Molly. Straight to the door. She knows what's happening. All right, let's go. Right by your side. Now every day, every night, every moment with you. I'm walking on air.
It was shavings day. Shavings day, you guys. You guys know that with COVID, um, we don't have as much access to our trainers. We have two amazing trainers that we love. Um, but we do send them videos. So I'm gonna take a video right now of Storm being lunged and see if she can see where she thinks the problem is or what she thinks the problem is. Chances are he did something in the field and he just needs time, but we're gonna make sure. Ruby, get up here. So here he is. We're gonna see. He's like, what are, what are we gonna do? Where are all my friends? Oh, Here, you're gonna video fine. this. What, what? Oh, you have to video on your phone. Yeah. So he needs to be lunged. Both ways. Yeah. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time And we can go a little faster so we can is it it looks like he's limping i mm -hmm. think it, these are the clues that we have to work with he had his back done on friday all the horses had their chiropractic care that doesn't ever make him go lame um what he was out on his shoulder he's always a bit out on the one shoulder but the rest of them was not too bad also had his feet done and that's my biggest clue, I feel like. So he had his feet done on Friday. We didn't ride him on Saturday. We didn't ride him on Sunday. We rode him on Monday. Poof, he's lame. Uh, he has special pads on his feet. So this morning when we checked him, nothing was hot at all. So we've like just been doing all these things Fiona told us. We've been contacting our farrier. We fell all down everywhere this morning. He was fine. Now he's hot. His foot is, his ankle is hot. Fiona thinks it's a... Doubt it. Fiona thinks it's a... Abscess, doubt it. Why would he... All right, we figured it out, you guys. We know what's wrong with Storm. I always get so stressed. This is so stressful. This is the worst. You need to hold him and not freak out if it's moved. This is the work. All, all right, all. yeah. Uh, they gave, yeah. Okay, eat the grass because you can't freak out. All right, so this is it. I am going to stand here while she cold hoses his leg and let him eat grass. That's, that's my job in the whole thing. Basically, this morning when we checked him, there was no heat anywhere, but to now, today, I notice he's not moving around a lot in the field like he normally does, but today he's got a lot of heat in his ankle area. I don't even know what it's called, like a lot of heat. Like, it's incredible how you can feel the heat in a horse like that. Um, so she said that he's probably twisted his ankle in the field. It's just the worst thing. Like, I'd rather the pad on his foot be a little off. This is literally the worst. Okay. Sam, you might have to help. Okay, he's scared of the hose. Do not. You need to stand out of his head. Let afraid him see the water. Ah, Sam! I'm afraid! Get, get ready for him to spook. Okay. Okay, look, look. Don't spray me. You almost did. <laughs> ah, I hate this. Sam's coming. It's just water.
We gotta do the whole. Dad's coming. Does it look swollen? No, it does not. Alright, so he's getting a cold. Uh, he's getting a cold hose for 10 minutes, twice a day, and he's going on stall rest. We're also able to talk to our vet in text, so it works out really well. So uh, I guess I'll go put him some hay. I literally can't believe that. I literally cannot believe that we felt him last night and this morning and there was no heat. Fiona said probably because we put him out on the field that it made him like he it's progressed a little more instead of getting better so that's why it's hot now or maybe just from being outside where it's a bit warmer I don't know but he's going to install for a few days and we're going to do this and keep reassessing but wow like I said to Fiona I must really be becoming a horse person because in the past this would have freaked me out so bad. Like I would have been panicking, freaking out, and now I'm just like, okay, he, we're gonna do what we're gonna do, and we're gonna see it through like we did everything else. Like he had heel pain, remember I told you before, like last summer, he spent a large part of the summer off and on lame. It was because of his heels. Uh, we just dealt with it, we just took one day at a time, and that's what we're gonna do now. Yeah, I'm proud of me, you guys. Like that is such a huge thing for me. I'm not panicking. Now I'm gonna go get ice cream though. <laughs>